Mambo vipi bwana Yesu asifiwe naitwa Nancy Hebron ni msanii tuseme chipukizi wa injili um, nilianza mwaka jana mwezi wa tisa kabla sija kukuka nilikuwa kwenye entertainment nilikuwa nafanya TV na radio kwa hivyo ni kitu ambacho kiko kwenye damu kitu ambacho nakipenda but ilifika mahali nilikuwa sikifurahi tena nafanya tu ili niweze kula niweze kulipa um, nilipe rent nivae niishi lakini sio kitu ambacho nilikuwa nakifurahia na nafikiri ni kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa anajaribu kunitoa kwenye hiyo sehemu ili aniweke mahali ambapo alitaka uh, nifikie katika injili kuhubiri kufundisha kuimba so um, ndio maana nasema imeanza hivi recently ambayo ni mwezi wa tisa mwaka jana lakini ni kitu ambacho nilikuwa nafanya tangu totoni kuimba kwetu tuko watano na kaka wawili alafu mimi and then Vanessa and then mimi Maz kwa hivyo mimi niko katikati it does not affect me kwa sababu um, you know kila mtu ana siku yake na uwezi kumlazimisha mtu mwambie no kitu unachokifanya sio kizuri wale ni watu wazima wanakielewa wanajua kibaya wanajua kizuri so i believe what they are doing they understand they understand the consequences they understand unajua kama ni positive au ni negative na yeah it does not affect what i am doing personally no it doesn't affect. but so unajua wanadamu ni wanadamu tu lazima utaongea oh wale ni watoto wa mchungaji wanafanya hivyo but kumbuka Yesu alikuja kwetu kama watenda dhambi si ndio alikuja kuokoa ambacho kidhaifu so kama tunawatenga hawa watu ambao wanafanya hivi vitu utawaletaje kwa Mungu watajuaje wokovu au watajuaje you know whatever religion it is so i don't believe in kutenga watu i believe in labda umwite umwelekeze Watu wataongea sawa lakini wewe kama kama kio katika religion how how do you deal with it na nafikiri hicho ndo cha muhimu zaidi how does mchungaji deal with it how does a mwalimu wa wa, wa dini deal with it at the end of the day na watoto watatu na Rebecca ni na Isaac na ni na Michaela to be honest imenipa mileage kubwa sana because one watu walijiuliza da Alisa ameimba nyimbo ya gospel na wengi walikuwa bado hawajua kwamba ni ndugu so wakawa wanajiuliza ni kwa nini ameimba nyimbo ya gospel then eventually waka realize company ni dada yake but imenipa mileage ash i na nawashukuru na namshukuru na Mungu kwa kunipa hiyo fursa because sijui nisinge sijui lakini nisinge nisinge imba nao je ingekuwa different I, beautiful jesus nilikuwa naandika hiyo nyimbo nikaona sura zao nikaona sura ya Vanessa nikaona sura ya Mimi Mars so nikarudi magoti nikamuuliza Mungu why kwa nini umeoni umenionyesha sura zao because i had no plan kuimba na Vanessa na Mimi anytime soon it wasn't in in, in my plan of of uimbaji but then nikapewa ufunuo kwamba ni the, the song has to be featuring them so tulipoingia studio same thing nimeingia mimi ndo wa kwanza nikaingia studio nikapiga verse yangu nilijua nimeshinda nimewin nime akaingia mimi Mars nikakaa chini and then akaingia Vanessa ah bas katufunika wote kafunga kaenda zetu nyumbani it was fun um ni kitu ambacho tulitaka kufanya muda mrefu sana sana kutoka utotoni so tuli enjoy yani mama ushai kupata taarifa ukataka kupaa yani your excitement beyond ndio alikuwa hivyo yani alikuwa amefurahi sana kwa nafikiri labda alilia sijui lakini alifurahi mno 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 ya yeah. mume wangu ana support sana uh, safari yangu ya ya uimbaji tena I, to be honest he's my backbone sometimes ni, ni, nalegea sio nalegea na na na, na kuwa mvivu and sifuatili so he's always pushing me hey, vp nyimbo zinaendaje zimefikia wapi when are we doing the next single when are we recording the next video so he's like my backbone niki nikilegea kitu kidogo anani skuma so yeah. hebron was a friend of my brothers so nilikutana naye mara ya kwanza akiwa na, na kaka yangu and i think hiyo ilikuwa njia ya mungu kumleta kwangu auleta kum, kum to 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 reveal him into my life so you, i don't know how the, to say that in swahili to really to 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 introduce him to me lakini alikuwa rafiki yake kaka yangu in just in short nikutana naye niko uff 
gosh uh, yeah bado ni course ya ukoka bado nilikuwa wild bado nilikuwa oh changamoto katika uimbaji oh gosh sauti is the first one sababu mimi niko ni, ni mzembe sana unajua waimbaji najua unatakiwa utunze sauti yako usiju usinywe vitu vya baridi usifanye nini hivyo vyote mimi nafanya so nikiingia studio inakuwa eish uh, inakuwa ngumu kidogo but aside from that um umbali mara nyingi napenda ku record da so kutoka Arusha kuja da sometimes inakuwa ni changamoto Uh, nafikiri ni hivyo viwili tu kwa sasa na wapenda sana na washukuru sana kwa support yenu na Mungu awabariki sana na endeleeni kufuatilia kuna mambo mengi mazuri 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 coming your way so keep following me unaweza kunipata kwenye Instagram underscore Nancy Hebron Twitter underscore Nancy Hebron YouTube Nancy Hebron Facebook Nancy Hebron yeah wewe zinikosa